Hey there, good morning my friends. My name is Bob DC and I'm a realtor with Magnolia Properties here in lovely New Smyrna Beach, Florida with the Ocean Walk November 2023 market report. The numbers I'm about to present to you are courtesy of Florida Realtors as well as the National Association of Realtors. So, so let's get into it. Um, look at that handsome guy. Anyway, um, before I really get into it, uh, there are currently in Ocean Walk 20 properties on the market and uh, nothing has really gone pending. Well, one property has gone pending in the last month, but nothing has closed since the end of October. There were only three closings in October and uh, you're probably wondering why is this taking so long? Well, there are a lot of properties coming on the market in Ocean Walk and uh, 20 is a little bit more than what it has been, but still, uh, the other thing you're faced with is it's just that time of year. It's um, November, we have Thanksgiving, uh, October Halloween, Christmas coming up. So people, as you know, are focused more on family pursuits, shopping pursuits than buying a house or selling a house. It's just not a brilliant time. But the thing with Ocean Walk, the thing that you really need to keep in mind is that snowbird season is coming up. Uh, some of our friends have already arrived um, in this, you know, late November, early December. So people are coming and you really need to ask yourself, A, if you are currently listed and hoping to sell, or B, if you are thinking of selling, you need to ask yourself, are you being represented properly? And by that, I mean, are you being marketed. Do you have like phenomenal photography, 3D tours, floor plans, all those wonderful things to let people out there know what's going on, what the, the really prime aspects of your property are? Are you priced right? Um, that's a big thing. You know, I've looked back at numbers from the past 90 to 180 days, and it seems the ones that have been selling quickly have been selling at a lower price than where a lot of properties are now. Um, and that's indicated by the fact that there are, the homes are selling at about 94, 95% of what asking is. So if you're really serious about selling, you just want to make sure that you're priced properly. Um, other things going on, uh, obviously the economy, um, economy's hot. The people are still getting hired. Things are moving on, but interest rates are high, but they are coming down. And the Fannie Mae predicts that by the end of the year, they should be around 6.84. That will help. Uh, the other thing about Ocean Walk too, is that a lot of the properties that are sold in there, at least half are cash deals. So you got to make sure that you're appealing to somebody that they're going to plunk a bunch of cash down for your condo. That's really helpful. The other thing too is um, open houses. Personally, I love doing open houses. So you really need to be, especially with snowbird season coming up, you need to be having an open house at least once a month, if not every two to three weeks. I've done several in my properties that I've sold in Ocean Walk and I just love doing them because I get to meet a lot of people. There's a lot of great people that come to Ocean Walk in the wintertime. Some may be thinking about it. Some are not really ready to buy, but what happens is you get somebody that develops a relationship with somebody and they'll come back at some point. I've had buyers come back two years later saying, Hey, I remember you. Let's, let's get something done today or let's, you know, find out what's going on and get my feet back into the market. So, you need to ask yourself those things. Those are really crucial that you are marketing properly. You're doing Facebook advertising. You're doing, you know, getting your property out there or that your real estate agent is getting your property out there. So keep that in mind. That's really crucial. And uh, if you're looking to buy something, you need somebody that knows the area, knows the community that can help you make the right decision. Big thing about Ocean Walk is there are 20 different buildings and they all have their own association. So you need to make sure that when you're buying something that everything is upright. There's no big assessments coming up. Anyway, I can go on and on. I don't want to bore you to tears with all that, but those are really important points to consider. 
Now let's just get into the numbers, okay? I'll, I promise I'll make this quick. I've taken up too much of your time. So first things first, um, buyers or sellers market, it's inching towards a buyer's market, which is going to bring those prices down. It's going to bring down, um, you know, asking prices are going to be, um, or I should say sold prices are going to be a lot, lot less than asking. So um, you'll see in the numbers here, list of sold price, 95.2%. Um, and this, just so I should can clarify it, the numbers I'm showing you are primarily from Beachside and their condos. Okay, so we're comparing apples to apples. Um, months of inventory, you can see 6.69. So that's been going up steadily over the past year. And uh, what that means is it's going to take about six to seven months for you to sell your property if you put it on the market today with the current inventory. But that inventory keeps going up, as you'll see later. Um, median sold price, uh, condos beachside is 495. Again, every condo is unique, so uh, it's really hard to put a, a median on anything, but um, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that later. Um, New Smyrna beachside condos, how do they compare? You can see uh, in the blue line, the top line, New Smyrna is still a very popular place, uh, aside from all the articles about being the shark bite capital of the world that I saw over this last summer, uh, being, you know, clickbait. There's also a lot of articles that say 10 best beach towns, Florida, best kept secret. So you got something, you know, you really need to market it and you need to go out. Uh, personally, I go out to I Facebook advertise in Michigan, Ohio, upstate New York, where I, you know, from doing all my open houses, I know where people are coming from to visit. So that, that's, that's important. So you can see, you know, Beachside does a lot better than New Smyrna, as well as Florida and Volusia County is in general. But you can see uh, values are still going up, you know, not a little tick last month over month, but uh, over year over year, 4.2%. Not a not a bad deal. So keep that in mind and just don't be frustrated if your house is sitting in the market for longer than you'd like. Next thing, uh, historic trend. This is one of my favorite things. Uh, the blue line is active listings. You can see in the past month in October, it has gone up about uh, a few more a few more active listings than the previous month. So that's creeping up, as well as uh, sales. There are only three sales or I should say closings in October. So that's just been pretty steady for the past few months. And uh, you can expect that to be like that, at least till the end of the year. So, but if you look at the big picture, if you look all the way down here in, um, you know, on the left side of the chart, 2019, 2018, there was a lot more competition back then. So, and the market was kind of fluffy. So, Things are going to give. I'm pretty optimistic things are going to give, especially uh, this coming spring. So uh, let's move on to the next slide. Uh, month supply of inventory. You can see that's going up. So uh, that goes back to, is it a buyer's market or seller's market? So yes, it's going to be a buyer's market. You can see uh, beachside condos. Uh, there's currently, like I said before, almost seven months of um, inventory uh, up big from the previous month, 10 and half percent and uh year over year look at that that's a whopping 267 percent so you have a lot more competition out there and you're just going to need to make sure that you stand out from the competition by using the right realtor who does the right marketing that's me by the way anyway um here is the little chart i like to put together this will be in the email there will also be uh you'll be able to click on this in the email and get um, the full sheet if you want to print it out or look at it. But here, A, active listings. You can see there are about 19 currently active and one pending. And the blue ones, those are the past 90 days sales. So the six have sold in the past 90 days. Like I said, I don't want to be a dead horse, but things have not been selling much in the past uh, th three to four months. And... Um, what else? Average days on market, uh, overall 80 days. But if you look at what's active out there, you're closer to 90 days. You're 88, 88 and point one days. So um, that's about a time you can expect to take to sell your property at Ocean Walk. Um, list price, uh, average list price, average sold price, 92. 
excuse me, 94.2%. That's um, what the difference between the asking and the sold price is. So keep these in mind. Um, you can see there's currently nine two-bedroom units available and 11 three-bedrooms. Pretty, pretty fair split there as far as uh, availability. So if you're a buyer, you have the ability to, you have a lot of choices. That's it, kids. I really appreciate you taking the time. Again, reach out to me if you need my help, if you need some ideas, if you want somebody that's going to work for you. I am more than happy to do that. And um, have a great Christmas, holiday season. Um, I'll be back with you probably between Christmas and New Year's, uh, depending on you know, what, what adventures I go on, uh, probably not much, but you know, what's happening in that week between Christmas and New Year's. All right. Thanks so much. Bob DC realtor with Magnolia properties here in New Smyrna beach.